Good morning, Michelle Saxman here, and ready to share with you some time with Jesus Calling by Sarah Young on June the 27th. Uh, really, one big takeaway on this one, and that is to breathe him in, to acknowledge that he is the air on our skin and he is the breath in our lungs. He can truly restore us regardless of the external circumstances. Uh, there have been times I've had to just look back and know, like, how has my Heavenly Father shown up for me? He has never failed me. You know, a season where, um, I'll say the last big um, real estate, whatever it was, we were moving, trying to sell a house. It took almost an entire year to sell our other piece of property. So several mortgages, difficult time finding employment in a new city, just being able to give absolute thanks to my Heavenly Father that there was gas in the gas tank, food in the cupboards. We were truly, we were, would I say we were comfortable? Absolutely not. Were we provided for? Absolutely. And me taking a walk with my Heavenly Father, being truly, when I say wrestling in the tent with Him, at least I knew who would win. But taking a long power walk and just huffing and puffing and being like, you know, you say that you can move mountains, but why can't you sell this house? And I've told this story before. And he said, I sent my son. And I was like, I don't care that you sent your son. I need you to sell this house. And I was just going around kind of having this argument, wrestling in the tent with him in my head as I was walking, physically moving around this in the neighborhood. And the, it was about the third or fourth time that he said, I sent my son. And I was like, ah, okay, this is what you're saying. So if we go into bankruptcy, you're telling me that I will see your son, that you will be with me, you will never leave me. And it was kind of this level of peace came over me. Did we ever go into bankruptcy? We did not. Ultimately, that house sold. But you guys, it was this journey that I say was necessary for me to have the level of faith and trust with my Heavenly Father. He has never left me, never forsaken me. Even though it does not always feel like, oh, it's all glorious and joyful, He does not leave us. And there will be lessons and blessings in these trials. But trust that I will equip you. You guys, these are the things in the unseen realm. Trust, this ability to rest, to be refreshed. And it was yesterday that it was the staff and rod um, that when we, I don't know if you know this, but in the Bible that they actually, like when Moses had the rod and they would actually make marks on it, times that the Heavenly Father the, actually proved himself true, experiences that they had, and they would just make little nicks. And it was kind of like their rod and staff was actually like their diary and their journey and their journal with the times that the Savior, the Creator, came before them and provided for them, and that we can truly establish this relationship. Um, this is the way ahead. It is absolutely shrouded with uncertainty in this culture. But he says, rest with me, trust that I will fully equip you for whatever awaits you on this journey. Refresh yourself in my company, you guys. That is absolutely necessary. He gave us the personal limits, the 24 hours in a day. He knows our rhythm. He knows we need rest. He knows we need to restore seasons, all of this stuff, his magical and, I don't know, just magnificent creation. The breathing breathing in the deep droughts of his presence, this, this air on our skin, the breath in our lungs. So the first reading is Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. You guys, that is taken on his yoke, not allowing, asking him to take on our burden, but us taking on his yoke. Then it is Psalm chapter 143, verse 8. Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for I lift you I for uh, for to you I lift my soul. You guys imagine that exchange policy. We kind of lift up our soul to our heavenly fathers with his unfailing love, tr fully trusting into him. And I say that is when we came to create this environment of peace within so we can receive his clarity and wisdom. Then it is Genesis chapter 28, verse 15. I am with you and watch over you wherever you go, and I will bring you back to this land. I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised. So he is before us. He is in our past. 
He is in our presence. We truly experience him in the present time. I I designed time to be a protection for you. Time does not heal all wounds, you guys. Our Heavenly Father does. Seek him in the midst of whatever it is you're going through. Allow him to restore you and bring you peace. Have a super blessed day. Stay connected to the vine, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.